Listen up, ladies and gentlemen, on the report from Tiger Mountain with these simple words. Australians like to do as they're told. Stick around and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Australians like to do as they're told. It's very true. You will have noticed this in uh, the uh, COVID crisis, the incredible level of obedience that people have been paying um, to um, you know, the health um, dictates of our tin pod dictator premiers and the uh, fool we have for a prime minister. People have been absolutely obeying every single thing. I mean, at least within the communities I've acknowledged. It's mainly, obviously, Europeans that have been doing this. I mean, I do notice that. Um, people who are um, or other ethnic origins, I think they do um, actually disobey and misbehave. And this is why you have that problem in West Sydney, which is all basically multicultural, where basically they can't keep the virus under containment because no one there would follow a health um, dictator if their life depended on it, pardon the pun. But it probably doesn't because, uh, and to be honest, we should probably thank our ethnic cousins for um, being so rebellious because clearly they're going to, they're never going to be able to get the um, New South Wales um, uh, outbreak under control, so they're going to have to open up, probably hopefully before Christmas. And then we're all just going to have to live with the virus, which is actually what we should have done from day fucking one, ladies and gentlemen. So um, I think that it's extraordinary the level. And this, uh, Helen Dale, actually, there's a fantastic uh, interview uh, with Sargon of Ackard and Helen Dale. You should look that up online. It's fantastic. And uh, Helen talks about um, how Australians are not only descended from prisoners, but we are descended from the jailers, so that we have a kind of um, you know, totalitarian mindset, whether it be from as, as like a prisoner, whether we were going to obey, or also from the people who actually ran the prisons, so that, you know, we have a kind of um, tendency towards obedience. And this is, I think, why Australia has been ripe territory um, for the New World Order and uh, the Great Reset to attempt to roll out their devious plans for humanity. It's incredibly fertile soil. And I think we've been chosen um, as a kind of test, um, uh, a test example or a template um, uh, uh, or a paradigm um, for the whole world to follow. And I think that's why you're seeing it's been treated so harshly at the moment. So I think, you know, really Australians do love to obey and you see it everywhere. I mean, you know, um, everywhere I go, people always wearing masks everywhere. I mean, people are putting their young children in masks. You see six-year-olds, who, which I don't even think is the law. I think you don't even have to do it to people that young. Where they're putting them in masks. There's just this incredible level of obedience going on. Obviously, I uh, I, I prefer disobedience. I, I like um, people who are more rebellious and people who do not wish to live in a totalitarian society, like the one that has been building around us. And obviously, we're heading into a, a possible medical uh, apartheid with um, the vaccine passports. But I guess I'll save that topic for another report from Tiger Mountain. So I just wanted to bring your attention to that. You know, yes, we are descended um, from both the prisoners and the jailers, and that maybe we need to really have a collective think about that and, um, you know, really think about our tendency to obey and, uh, and rebel against it, because I don't think at this stage it's going to lead us to a good place. It could lead us to a very dark place. So why don't we all st- start disobeying more and attempting to fight uh, our global overlords and their puppet masters here in our country, particularly legally. I think, you know, there's many, many places we could fight this in the courts in relation to lockdowns in relation to things like vaccine passports that are obviously um, uh, discriminatory. So there are many, many ways to do this. Uh, Obviously, many people like street protests. I'm not a big fan of street protests, but I think legally there are many people out there who can take this to the courts, and that is where we're going to see some victories, I think, in defeating this um, totalitarian horror that has been launched upon the people of Australia. Thank you for listening.